Good morning students. Welcome again in online English class. Today we'll start first chapter of class 12th. Flamingo book. And just see the irony of the chapter. The name of the chapter is last lesson. Though it is your first chapter of the book but the name of the chapter is last lesson written by alfonso dodet in this chapter we will know the importance of our language that how a language or how our mother tongue plays an important role in our life and this chapter also tell us the importance of the thing which we are not having and with the things which are having we don't give importance to those things so before starting the chapter we will know something about the author of this chapter alfonso dodet alfonso dodet he was born in may 13 he was born on in may 13 and in 18 40 nems in france and died december 16 1897 in paris at that time he was uh, about 57 years of age he was a french short story writer and a novelist now he was remembered chiefly as the author of the sentimental tales of provincial life in the south of france sentimental tales means the stories which are related to emotionals emotions first book of poems les amoureuses in 1858 first he has written his first book uh, of poems and the name of this was les amoureuses and it was written in 1858 when the franco prussian war began in 1870 dodet enlisted in the army he continued writing throughout this time publishing books such as letter from my mill in 1869 and the nabob 1877 as well as plays including the last idol 1862 his novel from and the younger and rizler the elder written in 1874 won an award from the french academy and as a result dodet became an established fixture in the paris literary scene so here is the description of his work what he has done or what he has written you can go through again and again and revise it to get the knowledge about alfonso dodet background franco prussian war the chapter of uh, the background of this chapter is related to franco prussian war this war was also called franco german war and it was started in july 19 1870 and continued up to May ten, eighteen seventy one. Approximately, it was continued for one year. And in this war, a coalition of German state. Coalition means you can say union of German states led by Prussia defeated France. The France, uh, you can say that France have lost the war, as the German have won. So and. uh france have lost the war the war marked end of french hegemony in continental europe and resulted in the creation of a unified germany uh, as i have told already told you that the uh, that france have lost the war and that's why the end of french hegemony hegemony means you can say that the leadership as the french have lost the war the and uh, the 
you can say French hegemony, French leadership was also ended with the war in continental Europe and resulted in the creation of a unified Germany. And after war, a unified Germany was created there. Here, these are the pictures related to the war. You can zoom it out to see it clearly. These are the original pictures of the war. Now, we will know more about Franco-Prussian war. You should have clear knowledge about the background of the chapter. That why this chapter was written or what was the motive of writing this chapter. The Franco-Prussian war or Franco-German war was a conflict. Conflict, you know, that is called fight between the Second French Empire and later the Third French Republic and the German states of the North German Confederation led by the Kingdom of Prussia. It lasted from 19 July 1870 to 28 January 1871 and it was caused by Prussian ambitions to extend German unification and French fears of the shift in the European balance of the power. If the Prussians were to succeed, the Treaty of Frankfurt of 10 May 1871 gave Germany most of Alaska and some part of Lorraine. At the time, there was a uh, treaty was made. Uh, treaty was signed. You can say that treaty was signed. Treaty means ek ka samjhota, samjhota war ke baad. To kya hua tha? Ki in this uh, treaty, Jer most, uh, 1871 gave Germany most of Alaska. And some part of Lorraine, which became the imperial ter territory of Alaska, Lorraine. And due to this treaty uh, of 1871, gave Germany most of Alaska, to most of the part of Alaska, ka, it was given to Germany and some part of Lorraine also. These are the two, uh, these are the name of two cities of uh, France, Alaska and Lorraine which became the imperial territory of Alaska Lorraine. French determination to regain Alaska Lorraine and fear of another Franco-German war along with British apprehension about the balance of power became factors in the causes of World War I. Though French people have lost the war, but they have determined, they were fully determined to regain Alaska and Lorraine again in future and fear, they have a fear of uh, also what was the fear? Fear was that uh, Franco-German was war may be started again with British apprehension and about the balance of power became factor in the causes of World War One. I. I hope till now everything is clear to you. Now, I just want to make you clear everything about the chapter through this picture also. Here you can see the name of the uh, places where uh, which are situated in the chapter Alaska and Lorraine. When you will see this picture clearly, the some parts of this uh, picture is red. It means that these, the most of the part of this Alaska and Lorraine was given to Germany. It was merged with the Germany after the after French had lost the war. So Alaska Lorraine, German Alice Lothringen area comprising the present French department of Hot Rhin, Bas Rhin and Moselle. Alaska Lorraine was the name given to 5067 square miles of territory that was ceded by France to Germany in 1871 after the Franco-German War. This territory was re ret uh, retroceded to France in 1919 after World War I, was ceded again to Germany in 1940 
during World War II and was again retroceded to France in 1945. Again, this is a diagram related to the place Alaska and Lorraine. Here you can see uh, this. This is in the form of a stairs. Uh, it shows its development during this age and after the war. Center of Charlie Magnus Frankish Empire in the 19th century. Afterward, German territory under various sovereignties up to the 30 years war. Then again, the peace of Westphalia during 19, uh, sorry, during 1648 gave control of Alaska Lorraine to France. Till now, the control of Alaska and Lorraine is in the is in the hand of France, incorporated into the German Empire after France defeat in the Franco-German War 1870-71. Now we'll see what was the effect or how the how the, these both cities are affected by this uh, Franco-Prussian War. Alaska Lorraine was returned in France in 1919. After World War One, as we know that uh, after the loss of the war in eighteen seventy one, Alaska and Lorraine was handed over to the German Germany, and again these places were returned to France in nineteen hundred nineteen after a period of uh, almost fifty years. Then collapse of France in 1940 was followed by the second German annexation of Alaska and Lorraine. Again returned to France in 1945. So as you can say that these are this is the journey of the of these two places Alaska and Lorraine. How they develop and what are the effects of uh, Franco-Prussian War or the First World War on this special place. Now I will tell you about the characters of this chapter. The first and the most important character of this chapter is Franz, who was a very small boy. Second is Mr. Hamel, who was a French teacher and who has given 40 years of his service to, the, to this place. Old Hauser, he was a villager who brings primer to classroom and the next one is watcher a blacksmith by profession and he te uh, told france not to go to fast to school because there is a enough time though uh, when he made a comment or when he told him about that there is a enough time to there's plenty time to go to school friends thought that he is making a comment on it, him or he is commenting uh, on him as he was late to school. Prussian soldiers mentioned in the background and the Prussian soldiers were mentioned in the background. So here is the list of some important characters related to the chapter. Now I will tell you about the characters of this chapter. The first and the most important character of this chapter is Franz, who was a very small boy. Second is Mr. Hamel, who was a French teacher and who has given 40 years of his service to, the, to this place. Old Hauser, he was a villager who brings primer to classroom. And the next one is Watcher, a blacksmith by profession. And he te uh, told France not to go to fast to school because there is a enough time. Though uh, when he made a comment or when he told him about that there is a enough time to there is plenty time to go to school. France thought that he is making a comment on it, him or he is commenting uh, on him as he was late to school. Prussian soldiers mentioned in the background and 
the prussian soldiers were mentioned in the background so here is the list of some important characters related to the chapter